This program is brought to you through the kind support of the Friends of That's What She Said. Support BCTV by visiting bctv.org slash support. It used to be great, now it's not so great. But it's still pretty great. Ready. It used to have lights, but it didn't have lights. New with LED lights. Pagoda. Did they really say that? We did not say that. Yet they did say that. That's what she said. And welcome to yet another episode of That's What She Said. Here we are in the frozen tundra of Reading, PA. <laughs> um, I hope everyone's warm and safe and without broken bones from falling. Um, here we are. I am Jane Street. Sheila Harrington. I'm Ellen Gallagher. Martha Richardson. Nicole Weaver. And what are you knitting this week? Today I'm doing a scarf. I actually just started this about a half an hour ago. And look how far yeah, you've Yeah, I'm getting there. <laughs> um, in honor of uh, Valentine's Day, Martha has supplied us with, well, and also in honor of our little side trip we're going to take today, Martha has supplied us with some spicy items and some lovely pink champagne. Or it's a sparkling rosé. Sparkling rosé. But Nicole has also supplied me with Valentine's Day necklaces in light of my newfound <coughs> celebrating the holidays. There you go. Oh, Thank you, Nicole, for my You're holiday. very welcome. Doing for President's Day? For President's Day? Uh, I vegged out at home is what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I took advantage of the one and only day off I had and that's I didn't do anything. Too fast. Okay. <laughs> one one of my baby steps, that's right. But the bank doesn't shut down when in the bad weather? Sometimes. Ah. This week I actually did. We had a day off and then um, the next day we didn't have the day off but I took the day off because it was just still <laughs> dreadful out, so... And then there's poor Nicole, who's had so many days off, she's going to go well into the summer <laughs> at her school. Oh, yeah. Well, my students It'll are. <laughs> that's, that's true, you have a sort of drop... Nicole has an excuse to stay out of that. <laughs> uh, one of those drop dates. Um, <laughs> um, and the yeah. state is not providing any sort of leniency here as far as the number of days. Not from what I understand. We yeah. had a faculty meeting today and we were told that June 13th is our official last day with students. Hmm. So They have said that they may use the Act 80 days and uh, count them as student days if they have met the hour requirement. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if they, but not think, Saturday classes no, or because well, I guess schools they could have. do that if they wanted to. I think but some universities have. have talked yeah. about it, right. but yeah, we're not. High schools can't anything. do that. <laughs> we're not yeah. making anything up. We just <laughs> come back to <laughs> forging ahead. <laughs> <laughs> ahead I hope folks. it all fits <laughs> in and they know something by the end. <laughs> <laughs> so. We, last, was it last episode? It's everything, t time's flying in this snowy wasteland that we call home. Um, but I, I'm told we want to talk about New Year's, New, New Year's resolutions and whether we've kept them. Now, I, for the life of me, can't remember what my use is. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure I didn't keep it. But uh, anyone? Is anyone? Oh, well, you I are. You're wearing I, you your... You know what? I, that's my, this, my, yeah. Yes. You know, I was going to say, I don't usually make New Year's resolutions, <laughs> but I guess I did, didn't I? You did. And here I am with my... Yeah. I'll help you that through every holiday. <laughs> Thank you, because I need that. I need that push, that, that little fire underneath me. Anyone else? Well, I don't think I announced a resolution and I don't think I made a resolution but I think we talked about some goals for the year and I know your goal was to learn to swim right. oh, and I think yeah. you were going to that. do some <laughs> paragliding or oh, something yes, like yes, that yes. and so I, I came up with a goal I want a winter sport. I'm tired of being sedentary, and I want a winter sport, so I think I want to take up. Oh, they're having a snowboard. They're having a snowboard. <laughs> Ellen to snowboard. Snow I, I want to take up curling. Curling. Oh, oh there you have a perfect I hill out the back can, of your house. You could cut down a bunch, a swath of trees, and create a luge. Well, <laughs> no, then you need. <laughs> <laughs> you need s some talent. Oh, please. <laughs> Curling, I think Curling? I can do the this <gasps> or that. Can I do that. the broom? I'll do the broom. And okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll be the we rock team. Push her. <laughs> we'll yeah. That's Bring what she camera. said, curling team. Ah. I even went online to check to see if there were any curling associations in our area. There They're is a Bucks <laughs> County 
Curling Association. And really? on the map, there were like five pins. So I clicked on one and it said Bucks County Curling Association. Clicked on the next one. Bucks County. <laughs> the next. So apparently, you have to go to Doylestown or something oh, in order to. But we'll, we can do our own. Check it out. Yes, we yes. will. Yes. We sh Jamie, we're taking a trip to Doylestown to the Bucks County <laughs> Curling <laughs> Association. They're going to teach us a thing or two. That's what she learn all while I think it of it. <laughs> As usual, I forgot to mention you can call us at 610-378-0426. That's 610-378-0426 or Tweet us at she tweets to me. Sheila and I think both have our tweeters we out. We do. So, so <laughs> one of us will get it. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. Well, let's just start this crazy little trip we have. Uh, back in the uh, fall, August, August, was it August? Uh, yes, we, uh, August. Yeah. we visited so. the Bowers okay. Chili Pepper Festival and uh, <laughs> we thought we'd put it in the can and wait for a proper moment and with this weather and the temperatures, well this seems like the perfect time for something warm and uh, spicy. So, uh, and our friend Kira was actually along on this trip with us. So, please enjoy our first segment of the Bowers Chili Pepper Festival. Here we are at the Bowers Chili Pepper Festival. Uh, we decided to stop by and get some, some, something hot. Uh, so, let's see what we can find. Uh, I hear there's wonderful yummy things to eat and drink, so let's go. Thank you. So what are you doing, Nicole? The very hot <laughs> jelly. It was very good. Very hot jelly. Hmm. It's very sweet and like the heat creeps oh, wow. up after. Yeah. Oh, that is Isn't cool. that good? And the, pe the reason why it does that is because the pepper that he chose, he chose the habanero because the habanero gets hot in the back where the jalapeno does in the front. So you, it allows you to get that sweet first and then when you swallow is when you get that heat. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's addicting. It's like, oh, that was really good. Oh, that's hot. I can totally oh, taste that. Good. See that with like yeah. sweet stuff? Oh, cheesecake, yeah. Cheesecake, you said? Yeah, over that's a cheesecake. Really nice. We had it on a Which chocolate cheesecake one day. Hot jelly. It's, it's really hot. good. Yeah, it's like it takes strawberry at first and then the heat creeps up on you. Yeah. Wow. You don't taste the heat right off the bat. <laughs> chocolate like a cake. Oh, yes, yeah, on a chocolate cake. cake. Party <laughs> on a cake. Yeah. Hmm. It's really good. Vanilla ice cream. Oh, Why don't you try that, Jane? <laughs> you want me to try this? We should definitely try. We should. Everybody should All right. Try well, that's Thank been you for very me. much. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, it's good. You'll be fine. All right. Very hot jelly. You want to try some very hot yeah. jelly? I right. will. Right. Hold on to that spoon for me. I know, right? I'm thinking like that shouldn't be fire. Thank you. I got to look around here. Again, real sweet as soon as you put it in your mouth. When is you that swallow, an accurate description? It is. Over goat cheese or cream cheese, oh God, that little weenies or meatballs in the crock pot. That would be amazing. Oh, yeah. It's perfect. That and a nice glass of red wine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you should try it. Yeah. It is good. Yeah. You want to try one? Yeah. Let me try one. We're at it, almost out of cups, guys. That's why I'm doing that's, it this oh, way. Oh, that's fine. It's been a good show. Would you like me to hold the camera for now? It's fine. Yes. That. The weather's certainly Oh, my gosh. Been. We couldn't ask for better. Were you here last year? No, this is our first year. Oh, so we is, did not pack appropriately for sauce great. or spoons or cups for this show. So. You don't know? That's oh, that's right. <laughs> How much is a bottle of this? Six dollars. Oh, yeah. yeah. All Sold. the big yes. ones are six, two for 11, four for 20. You want one of those? Oh, definitely. Okay. Yeah. So do you have a website? Yep. What's and I'm going to give you a recipe card. It's got our website on there. Okay. okay. So you can always order more. There's more recipes. There's a recipe out there for fudge berry pudding cake. <laughs> makes its own. You do it in one mm. hand. Makes its own pudding. When you put this in there, it's fabulous. Oh, my God. So the, the website actually is... actually Patter Fam. Patter Fam. Yep. My husband's a pastor. Little okay. boy in church couldn't say Pastor Sam. Oh, uh, Patter Fam. Fam. That's where the name came okay. from. Okay. Patter Fam <laughs> sauces. Yep. Very cool. Yeah. There's a story. Right. There's a little boy there. He didn't get to come to this event because he's got to preach tomorrow morning. So ah. it's too far away. It's about eight hours away. So <laughs> he got to stay home. <laughs> and there's Patafam, Patafam <laughs> Farms, Patafam Farms. Um, as, as she points out, they're excellent on little weenies. Um, <laughs> Nicole brought that up. <laughs> she catches everything. Uh, 
<laughs> so yes, the the Bauer, the Bauer Fest Chili Pepper Festival is a, is a major event. Um, it happens every August uh, around the same time as we were there, but I can't tell you exactly when that is. Um, but it's in Bowers. It's just around Kutztown. And if you haven't been there, uh, chili purveyors of all walks and wonderful sort of persuasions come there and. Uh, sell their wares and you can taste everything and it's amazing. They make ice cream, they make sauces, they make chocolates, pretzels, whatever. But uh, I, I highly urge everyone to go to that the Chili fun. Pepper Festival next August. Plus you can also take a little cart ride and go and pick vegetables and things in their fields. So that's wonderful. Um, it's fun and tasty too. Uh, <laughs> so anyone else to add, add anything onto the Chili Pepper Festival there? I love it. I, I first went it two or three years ago with my in-laws before they were my in-laws and they you know they took my husband and I there and I thought it was fantastic and I think it's grown since then there's even oh, more yeah. stands and yeah, it really I think does. it's just a lot of fun I love in the late summer early fall those yeah. mm -hmm. you know those festivals and stuff I, just, I love that stuff <laughs> indeed um, and while we're thinking of happy thoughts um, one of the things we wanted to talk about was uh, the was sad Seasonal, uh, not seasonal allergy disorder. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Seasonal, seasonal affective, affective disorder. Affective disorder. <laughs> yes, the thing that makes us sad. Sad. <laughs> because we don't get enough vitamin D. Um, I don't know. Uh, I think so that's mm -hmm. that, 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 that they put oh, a lot to sense. it. Uh, now I've been upping my vitamin D, and it hasn't done a darn thing. But um, it's hard. This winter it has is. been really. Kind of brutal for it's the first. You just want to put your head under the blankets and hide. Right. Um, I don't. I love it. Talk I, about this. I have to. I love the winter. We all have friends, and, and this just occurred to me. We all. Sorry. We all have friends who tell us, "Oh, I missed your show." Right. So I'm going to call one of them right now, who always does Good. that to me. Talk amongst yourselves while well, I get him on the I phone. I do love winter. I. I. I mean, I. I have, our, I have a large cozy factor, and I love our house. It is the coziest house ever, it and I have house. really enjoyed the downtime where Barry and I have had to be home. I think, I think it's a real test of our relationship that we're both <laughs> smiling at each other and kissing each other good morning and good night, because, but it, I love the winter. I love everything about the snow and the... I think I don't know. Oh, many people Hello. are getting Can a I put you on speakerphone, darling? It's Jane. Hold on. Here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to hold you close to my breast so that you may be heard. <laughs> this is John, my friend John, who who always misses the show. Are you watching the show tonight, John? No. <laughs> <laughs> John Ganser. It is. Hi, John Ganser. <laughs> Careful, you're live on TV right now. Oh my God! Well, <laughs> oh my God! Turn us on. It's turn not too on. late to turn us on, baby. All right. Okay. Channel okay. two. I'll turn you on, but I'm not turning you on while I'm on the phone because I don't want to hear me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll get that horrible feedback thing. Well, I'll here. Let me take you off speakerphone now. I'll let you go and uh, turn us on and let us know what you think. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Goodbye, darling. Thank you. We are so far. We're eating spicy things and drinking pink liquid. It's delicious. <laughs> John says hello to everyone. Hello, hello John. John. Goodbye. <laughs> I think for many people, this winter has just gotten to the point where they're they're becoming frustrated with what to do with snow. I mean, well, the, if I lived there's in the nowhere city, I to would put not it. like it. Yeah. Uh, Did it, you see that thing in Al is it Allentown or uh, uh, Easton? They had that big machine that goes around down the side side of the street with the churner, and it just yeah. sh blows it into a, in a into a big it, dump a truck, truck yeah. which is what they do in cities mm -hmm. like Philadelphia and New right, York, yes. and then they take it dump out and it dump it in the, it in the ocean near <laughs> the river. <laughs> yeah. But we don't have that option no. here, and I think people are coping we quite well. I I love the way they park along the streets now that they can't dig out the whole area for a parking place. They're parking at 45 degree angles mm -hmm. yes. and the so snow is ready. kind of, yes. Reading is the worst. The, the snow is a buffer well. and uh, I think people are being very creative in the ways they're dealing yeah. with it. I have to say honestly where we live in, in Muhlenberg Township um, in South Temple, 
driving has not been an issue. Yeah. They have done it's the most it. amazing job of cleaning our streets. And yeah. of course, we have the advantage too. Most of us have garages, so our cars are on the streets. I, driving into Reading, um, I don't know it's what I would nightmare. do if I lived in the city. It really is a nightmare. Yeah. But now that the snow is melting, the potholes are almost worse yeah. than the. They yes. are. They're just oh awful. And the flooding is going to be. An yeah, the flooding. I think it will yeah. be. Yes, yes. I there, think there'll be quite. So, a, so there, it's a winter hell sure. for us. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There are aspects of winter I like. I like that cozy feeling. Oh, I, I love like, it. You know, there are recipes that I make only in winter. You know, yes. certain yeah. soups. Mm -hmm. I just made one the last night. Foods. The comfort foods. Yeah. Curling up under a warm blanket yeah. and watching a movie. That's you don't all have great. The comforters, the light, yeah. fluffy comforters. But I tell you what, I today. Like um, our plants came uh, for my horticulture class, and we started planting in the greenhouse. Uh, and so it was warm in there, uh, and it was nice. sunny. We had, you know, the kids were all working and that's doing a exciting. really great job, and it was just so refreshing yeah. to be Spring in that fever. warmth. Yes, and it was just like, oh. and, and what's funny is all the snow that falls on the top of the greenhouse, you know, the heat comes in, mm. heats it underneath, and it just falls, so you can hear it all day crashing. Yeah. So we have snow three feet above the greenhouse, and then we have the sun coming ah, in. It's just a weird, it's a weird uh, juxtaposition of things lovely. going on right now, but it's fantastic. Did well, you hear the thunder today? No. This morning while it was raining. I'm so upset no, that I missed that. Yes, I yes, I mean, um, I've heard about thunderstorms yeah. during huh. yeah. winter Thunder weather. But, yeah, no, but it was, it was really kind of Well, neat. we have to pause now for a, uh, another break to the uh, Bowers Chili Pepper Festival. Let's see what we're tasting now. So we got some uh, we got some drinks to cool off a little bit with. So and it's homemade soda. It is fermented though. But and this is the pear, and it's just very delicate. It's it's very nice as you would expect. A pear. So it's good and refreshing so, after the it's after all the hot cool peppers. <laughs> That's good. So what did you get, Sheila? I got um, ginger pineapple. Okay. The rest of the stems. Oh, okay. I think that was the other. So part. how's the uh, how's the ginger pineapple? Kind of like a ginger beer. Oh, and the pineapple's in there, but it's not that mm -hmm. sickeningly sweet. It's very it light. It's more ginger. It's, yeah, it's, it's really refreshing. Yeah. It, it wasn't really lying. Good. Suck while you film. Oh. <laughs> This is all brewed mm. in Kutztown, so okay. local wow. local product yeah. here. It's really good. Cool. Okay, so we're here at uh, Miller's Mustard, something which with, with which we are familiar, yes. because we have hot bought it in the past, and it is really good stuff. Yeah. Yep, that's our hot and sweet mustard, that's our mild and sweet mustard, brave. and then here, oh, that is our yeah, mustard mixed with cream cheese. Let's do it. All right. yeah. Normally, you want to get mustard and cream cheese, but has so much pepper flavor, it goes together so really well. In my head. Yes. Banana yes. pepper yes. mustard, it's wonderful yeah. stuff. In the middle is our mustard mixed with cream cheese. You would never think cream cheese with mustard, but it has so much pepper flavor, it goes together really well. Well, I like the 2010 condiment of the year and then followed up with the 2011 win as well. That's so good. It's good stuff. That's so good. Anything off the grill. Website's on our jar. What is the website? Millersmustard.com. Millersmustard.com. We have over 20 recipes, things like deviled eggs, tuna salad, baked chicken, all kind of ideas how to enjoy it, as well as a store locator. You put your zip code in, it tells you any store in your area that sells it. Great. Wonderful. Perfect. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thanks for the business. I appreciate it. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you. So we're here at uh, Pretzelphoria. Yes. Nicole's going to tell us how much she, she loves these pretzels. <laughs> yes. This is one of my favorite stands that I find at Farm Show. Um, my husband loves the chocolate covered pretzels with peanut butter in the middle. Those are his favorite. Oh, wow. And I love, they do these things called wasabi, um, wasabi covered soy nuts, oh which are really good because some are like mild wasabi, some are real hot, but they're really good. Okay, so you make everything here I locally? do make everything here. I'm from Lancaster. My town is Lampeter. Okay. And so everything here is a Pennsylvania product. See the sign behind you? Oh yeah, excellent. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so and go and ahead. Wilbur chocolate from Red. Oh, yeah. Wilbur Buds. Right. Yay. Uh, Wilbur makes seven dark chocolates, and we blend two of their seven for ours. Okay. And we do peanut butter filled, and we do regular salted pretzels, too. And of course, with the chocolate, what's really important is the salt, because the salt makes the chocolate blue. Dark chocolate? 
Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Rock right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. That's good for your soul. <laughs> <laughs> we have a pizza one that children oh, yeah. love. Pizza? Children mm -hmm. of all ages. That sounds interesting. Pizza. I don't use any artificial products, so there's no cheese here. But that's pizza. Mm. I tell you on the label that you can heat these up in the oven mm. and then put cheese on it. Your own cheese. Mm. Tastes like pizza? Yeah. <laughs> it really does. That's wonderful. That was good. Uh, okay, so again, it's pretzelforia.com. Pretzelforia.com. Right. We'll see you there. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> I just, I, I just struck me that uh, we're doing a lot of food things lately, so we, we, as we're at a 9 o'clock show, somewhat before bedtime, we should probably next episode do something that isn't food related, so we're not urging ourselves on to <laughs> drink this warm milk. Winter, right. warm milk. <laughs> Fabulous. Everything Indeed. Is food Make some scotch right with warm milk. It's <laughs> <laughs> even better, Again. Brandy. <laughs> The number is 610-378-0426. We did actually have a tweet. Oh, um, hey. um, Mr. Richardson from California oh, is right. watching us. <laughs> Great show so far. I can personally attest that Martha's house is the pinnacle of cozy. Uh, <laughs> and I can double that. I can triple that. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, but uh, we have something special going on. People are probably watching that instead of us tonight. Shame on you. But, <laughs> catches and reruns. Um, <coughs> the Olympics are uh, going on now. Uh, who's watching? Who isn't? I am not. Um, I confess, I'm not. I haven't watched it. Not because I don't want to, I just haven't. Like, it's just not on my radar. But it's on the TV. I was not it, excited. But I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got, you know, my, my guilty pleasures, my reality shows. Well, we know you <laughs> like curling. Well, actually, I haven't watched much curling. Uh, I've watched a lot of other things. I know very much. little about curling. But as a matter of fact, I don't know a lot about a lot of winter sports. Um, I don't quite understand all of the things that go into the snowboarding and how they judge That's them my and new favorite how they get the points year, yeah. and really the half exciting. pipe and how many turns they have to yeah. take. It's and just so exciting. I think... I, I, it used to be, I'm not a skating fan, I just too frou frou, but the, um, <laughs> I think that's what I like it, about it. Yeah. <laughs> frou -frou. But I mean, I, I, I accept the talent and the work it takes, but I used to be, it used to be that skiing was my favorite one because of the, the thrill the, of watching the, the, them and thinking and what it speed. must, the little bit of skiing that I've done, the little hills that I've gone over were such a thrill they were about this high. And so, <laughs> Watching that until last night, we watched snowboard cross, the snowboard races. So I have they never do the seen heats of the like a couple of them are racing yes. down. Yeah, it was cool. That's the most exciting thing I've ever seen, and it's something I, I wish I could say I had the guts to do it. It would be we so exciting. I would love to snowboard. <laughs> right. I love snowboarding. Oh, come I'll on. watch you. <laughs> right, right. We've got to find. So, is, if anyone knows of any place that does. Uh, Curling. Uh, no, well, <laughs> we know some place that does Bob's curling. <laughs> we, we want some place that can teach us all snowboarding. So, if you've got any ideas on that, uh, write us at uh, that's what she said online. Dot com or give us a call at 610-378-0426. My God, I remembered it. Woo! <laughs> this <laughs> That's is momentous. Wonderful. That is great. Uh, my memory isn't as bad as I thought. If I say it enough, it will come. Uh, <laughs> I think so, one of the best things that we get from watching the Olympics is, is all the personal stories. Yes. Mm -hmm. All of their yes. hard work and the things that they've had to overcome and the joy that it brings and the rivalries and uh, I, I just think there's a whole lot that we can learn about each other and other cultures and it's a time for people to come together and compete in something that is not warlike and not violent. But I'm not yeah, sure that it's not all it. not warlike. I mean, it, well, it, well it's there's, there's, there's I've underlying seen things. Some, you know, I've heard some comments by some of the losing athletes and, and I've sort of wondered, but but it is wonderful. I think it's wonderful to see them. Um, the, the snowboard race last night, the, or something that one of the snowboarders that won and his whole team jumped on top of him. Aww. It looked like they were going to kill him. <laughs> they were so excited that he, I think, the first one to medal hmm. in that 
event for us, and I, I just love watching the success. It's, it's but a it breaks, new event, isn't it? It is a new event. Yes. Um, but um, I love the success and their their faces, and then it breaks my heart to see the losers, the the skaters that fall, they and so hard, um, they've and worked like, so oh. hard, and that the male. Uh, skater from Russia who was supposed to be the best mm. in the oh, world, yes. oh, and he fell and he, had he had couldn't surgery. skate. He had no, he was a shoe in, mm -hmm. and but. he fell and couldn't and had the and had the courage to say, "I can't skate this right. one," and, and I I admire that. And as he and as he went to the judges and said, "I can't do this. I'm out." Everyone in that arena stood yes. up and cheered yes. for him and that's yes. that's why I like because he Olympics. said I wanted to win yeah. for my sons for my wife and my two sons I want them to be proud of me and I just my heart just broke I just and he said it all in English by the way <laughs> <laughs> and, and where is Putin these days. He was there for everything in the very beginning. I, he's still I don't know around scout. They show him from every now and then with that same expression. He's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's designing what they're going to do to the hockey players. Uh, I they can lose. imagine. Yes, yes, yes. That was a big letdown for the entire country. Yeah. But uh, well, I don't we'll know. we still have to find out how we're going to do in hockey. Are we? Uh, uh, do we feel any sort of guilty pleasureness about it, given all the? Uh, Issues going on in Russia? It's well competition. More than anything else, I think. I, I, I think they because we had beaten them four years ago, they really had it as oh, their Oh, I'm not talking goal. about just the, the yeah, hockey. I, no, I still the, the, don't the, think it should be in be, Russia. I don't mm. think we should be in Russia. I, I honestly don't. Don't think it should have, no, there, it's a it's a the human rights violations that have been talked about and we I I just don't think it should have been awarded to Well, I, and then the money they poured into this. Right. At, that, at the and sacrifice Bra of a lot of people. Right, and when Brazil is having the same issue right. because they're hosting the World Cup and then the next Summer Olympics and they're pouring all their money right. into that and there's a lot of political backlash right. there. Right. Russia's having the same thing and I think um, they're going to come out a little worse for wear on this because in the very too. beginning, look at all the, I don't know if you guys saw this, but there were all these articles coming out. Um, basically, it was like hashtag so she failed because right. none of the hotels were done. Right. And I saw that, yeah. One like, guy had to break out of his bathroom. I just find that stuff really funny, but I think. Uh, he probably will someday. Yeah, I think it's just the, you know, I think there are issues with I it think too, living in Russia is a different way of life. The, the woman who is blogging for the uh, local newspaper is, um, it, I really have enjoyed her columns. And one of the things apparently all over Russia, because she lived in Russia for a year before this, was you're not allowed to flush to uh, toilet paper mm. down the toilet. I don't even want to go further into that, except that I don't want to be in that. There's a little in pocket. That, well, it in, yes. Yeah, and, and that's not just in Russia. <laughs> well, it, none of the places I've ever been well, have been that, so I, I don't want to go yeah. there. I, that's gross. That's gross. That's nasty. <laughs> I, I that's heard, really nasty. Um, <laughs> a, a former Olympian talking today about when we did not go to Russia the last right. time, and his feeling was that even though we were protesting the human rights at that point, our protest fell on deaf ears. Right. Nobody cared Sometimes that we weren't there, do. and nothing ever changed as a result of it. But that shouldn't stop us from. And there were 450 athletes who probably lost that opportunity to show the world what they could do. Right. And so it's it's something that. So should we just be apathetic about things if we don't think they're going to change no. things? Is that? No, I don't no, think no. that's I'm, apathy. And I think a lot of I think a lot of groups that have gone there have found their little ways to say we don't agree with what you're doing. Like the we're, puppies. I don't. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. But we're here. I don't to, think we should have boycotted yeah. them. I, I but I don't think we should have been there in the first place. Yeah, I think. I, I really if, yeah. don't. I think they're finding a way to separate the Olympics from Russia, but. Yeah, there are those issues in Russia going on that I think a lot of people don't agree with. I don't agree with a lot of it, but I think, like I said, there are the groups that are coming in, they're finding little ways to say, we're here, we're going to compete, we're going to be respectful, but we, we don't, don't completely like agree with this. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, indeed. We're making <laughs> connections on a personal basis mm -hmm. as opposed to a political basis. Indeed. I mean, my old people are still being arrested. And, That's uh, right. Pussy Riot right. today was whipped by Cossacks. And, oh, really? Uh, I didn't yes. know that. Yeah. So th there's a lot of stuff the mainstream media is not reporting on that uh, sort of bothers me that they can't express a little more 
disdain yes. for honesty about what's actually going on there. Um, I'm going to sip on my bottomless <laughs> glass. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like a perfect time to, uh, to take a wee little break. Um, when we come back, remember, it's 610-378-0426. You can give us a call or she tweets, uh, she tweets to me. And uh, we'll see more Bowers Chili Pepper Fest and we'll have more conversation. So we'll be back, right back after the, after the break. <laughs> You're watching BCTV.org. Be informed. Be involved. Be a member. For membership information, go to www.bctv.org slash support slash membership. For other stories and information, go to bctv.org. And welcome back. We never take, we're never off camera very long around here. Um, I do want to take this opportunity to remind you that on this Saturday, the 22nd, from 4 to 11 p.m., uh, there is the BCTV Dance Party Telethon at River Edge. Um, it's, a, it's a mere $10 a person. You should come and support it. It's, uh, all funds go to the BCTV, and uh, they're a wonderful organization. Uh, I, they do a very lot for our community. So, and uh, I and uh, Sheila and Nicole will be there. We'll be there about 7 o'clock if you want to come dance with us or whatever it is you want to do with us. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll mostly but, just sway. Uh, <laughs> I'll <yeah>. go with you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we'd love to see you out there. So, um, that's this Saturday, the 22nd, from 4 to 11 at River Edge. Um, but we'll be there at seven-ish. It'll be fun. Um, while I'm doing a little announcements, we should talk about Good Time for Life, um, which is uh, for the Co County Wellness uh, Organization. Uh, they have a, a yearly dinner uh, at various restaurants. They, I think there are 17 participating restaurants this year. Uh, all the way from, well, I shouldn't say all the way because I've not been to the New Willoughby's, but the New Willoughby's is on the agenda as well as Sterling. So you can find places to suit your budget. And on March 4th, that's a Tuesday, uh, they will have um, people will go to the restaurants and part of the proceeds go to the the Co County Wellness Service, which is putting the money into research about HIV and AIDS. They're a wonderful organization. Yes, uh, and yeah. this has been going on for many, many years. It's quite a tradition in, in Reading and Berks County. And it's a uh, good time. Uh, if you want to get more information, you can go to Good Time for Life. It's T H Y M E, as in the herb or herb, mm -hmm. depending on <laughs> what <laughs> persuasion you might be. Goodtimeforlife.org. Um, and as a special treat, I will be going back to my favorite restaurant in the area, Papillon, to be the hostess for the event there. Each, mm. each venue has its own hostess, so I will be there. So you, if you want to come have me pour you drinks and sell you raffle tickets, please come to Papillon on March 4th, Tuesday. It's, it's a good idea to make reservations. Yes, yes. yes. reservations yes. are, are uh, recommended. Yes. And, uh, uh, many of them have two seatings, like a five ah, o'clock seating okay. and a seven o'clock seating, so that it can take care of those people who are just coming from work and want to have dinner right away, and then those people who have gone home and had a cocktail right. and are coming back for, for <laughs> dinner later in the evening. The list is all up there at uh, Good Time, T H Y M E for Life uh, dot org, and that all the restaurants are listed there. Um, now we have, oh, we had a, we had a touch with greatness at uh, the Bauer Chili Pepper Festival. <laughs> we, we met a gentleman who was, who was just taken with all of us and was very accommodating. Um, and if you wonder what Guns N' Roses and Chili Peppers and us have to do to, with one another, well, we met Bumblefoot, who was the lead guitarist of Guns N' Roses. Ooh, he was there. Favorite. Yes, he was there selling his wares. And they were very tasty. <laughs> it was, he was very cute and very lovely. And just a, a, a digression, do all Olympians have to be attractive? Have you ever seen an unattractive Olympian? Yes. I was yeah, just going to say, yeah. I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah. Okay, fine, never mind. Back to, back they to Bumblefoot. They don't show them. <laughs> <laughs> 
those in the I, I find them all incredibly attractive. <laughs> I, I agree with the you. The ones that they show. <laughs> well, like they, they, a they still have their helmets in The ones that are on the podium all are, and so. There you go. <laughs> Picky, aren't you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but anyway, back to Bumblefoot and the Chili Pepper Festival. We, uh, he, we had a lovely time with him. Should we roll the tape now? Sure. All right. We can talk more about him once we've met him. So we're here at at K John's Fiery Foods. Okay. K John's Fiery Foods. And uh, so, what do you recommend that she uh, she tries first? Honestly, well, I'm biased. Oh, okay. Come around. This oh, okay. Oh, wow. My sauce is right here. These are my babies. I recommend you start with bumble baby sauce. It has chocolate. It has cherry. It goes great for giving a kick to a white Russian. Ah, uh, a chicken mole. What else? Yeah, what I'll else? definitely try that. We'll put it on ice cream, please. Spoon, you have a spoon. Yeah, we do. We get more spoons. So, please give that a try. Give it a taste. Oh, wow. How hot? Not that bad. Okay. Big spoons. Oh my. Big spoons. <laughs> go big or go home. <laughs> That's amazing. But wait, we took out the chocolate and we put in bourbon. Oh. Now this one, Bumbalicious, with cherry bourbon and chipotle. <laughs> she loves it. Look at the coffee. That was really pleasure. good. Yeah, that, I didn't like it. Now this, <laughs> it goes great on barbecue, on, on ribs, on wings. Take a taste. That's the one that has Cherry bourbon chipotle. Okay. Well, that was the chocolate. Oh my gosh. I really love that. Uh, now, if you're looking for something a little more complex than just tabasco, as far as a table sauce goes, oh, nice. Yes, yes. I dig these. This one goes great with normal sauce, goes great with Mexican food, with Italian food. It's got Mediterranean herbs, tomato based sauce. Please try. That's our new one. Where do you come from? Is this your truck? Um, this that's their truck. I, I came from Jersey. <laughs> Where do they come from? Uh, Ohio, around Columbus. Yeah. Ooh, that one's spicy. Did you just say Ohio? I can't do it. You don't like Ohio? Wow. <laughs> that one is spicy. It's really good. Oh, it is really good. Oh. I like that. Okay, so now let's kick it up a little bit. I wanted something I could put on my Thai food, on my Indian food, on my lamb, on my fish. <laughs> so, with curry and cumin, uncool sauce. Ah. This one will definitely make you cough. <laughs> just a little. Yeah, that's that's it. yeah this one is, is where it starts cooling oh, up and getting hot. Oh, I like that. But wait, there's more. Order one spoon now, and we'll give you one just like it. Order one of our spoons with a round top, and we'll give you one with a round bottom. So abnormal. This one goes great on steak. Goes great in chili. This one's a little hotter now. A little hotter. Yeah, yeah this one has some heat to it. It has jalokia peppers. It has tamarind. It has Caribbean jerk seasoning. The nice thing about it is that when you put it into something like chili or steak, the fats of the meat tend to dilute the heat and you get more of the flavor in it. It works really nicely. That one's hot. I gotta be careful here. Now, the hottest of all. I'm not gonna do that. No, this is the hottest. Don't drink all that water. We may have to pour it on. What's that one the hottest? This is the hottest one. This one right here. It's cold. I need a prep. Oh, I was like, oh my god, am I sweating already? No. If those didn't make you sweat. What is that one called? This one is called Bumble. <laughs> <laughs> Bumble. 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 All right. That one, this one. It it has <laughs> that one, we can believe. Bumble F. It has ginger and tropical fruit. I'm doing something that has not been done yet with hot sauce. We put in ginseng and caffeine like an energy shot. Oh, wow. Oh. And six million Scovilles of heat and heat. <laughs> 
So, you try no. this, it burns everything, you get the flavor, and then after about 10 seconds, it rises up in the back, and you feel it goes to a very hot place. After about a minute, your whole body is feeling bumble after. <laughs> oh, everything is clear, not just your sinuses. Anything that can be cleared will be cleared. That really took me down. Yeah, but it was good. It was All right, who here would like to get Bumble left? Uh, no. Is anybody getting Bumble left? The time. Maybe it's abnormal did that to me. Where's so, that um, And how much are they individually? Eight, 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 eight. And then as it gets hotter, 12, 15. Okay. So, um, do you have a website? Yes. Well, my own personal website is bumblefoot.com. Okay. If you want to get all the line of products here, kjohns.com. Look at the truck. Okay. kjohns.com. kjohns.com. Okay. Is your stuff on there as well? It sure is. Oh, okay. Everything you see here is there plus more. kjohns.com. Look at that. He's got the sign bottle of the uh, uncool Bumblefoot hot stuff. So, if you if you want this this one, these were really good. They have good flavors. It's uh, kjohns.com. C a j o h n s dot com. Good stuff. Delicious. We didn't know at the time that he was the lead guitarist of Guns N' Roses. We just thought he was a, an attractive, fun young man. <laughs> but uh, we found out later, and uh, we, we, we just had a wonderful time with that boy. Uh, and we recommend everybody go back next year and look yes. for him. Indeed. Yes. Their were <laughs> yeah, awesome. They were right he, inside. The, they were the, wasn't that the first stand? It was. Yeah. It was. Yeah, well, yeah, it depends on where you're yeah, entering. Right. right. Uh, our first. Yeah, he was, he was an offshoot of K. John's. Um, so, uh, and we, I myself regret not trying the bummer left um, because <laughs> I, I just chickened out on the one before it and, <laughs> but now the, the caffeine and the ginseng just really sound. It was the six million Scovilles of, of heat <laughs> that kind that of. That one really was pretty in pain already. Anyway, <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was, our, it was our first stop and we did, weren't liquided it up. So <laughs> we weren't prepared for that immediate or smack in the face of heat. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my goodness. Uh, anything oh. else to say about our delightful day with Bumblefoot? I had a, Do you a, know? a, a, a condition after that. We had oh, went to the <laughs> yes, you <laughs> did. Yes, all that hot stuff. I developed a blister, and I really thought it was my very first cold sore ever. <laughs> and I was freaking out, and I panicked, and I called my friend. And I said, oh, my gosh, will you look at my mouth? I've got a cold sore. She's like, that is not a cold sore. <laughs> did you eat something hot? I said, well, I did go to the gym. <laughs> I ate a ton of hot things. Before, and she's like, well, there you go. <laughs> Two days later, it was gone, so it was obviously not a cold sore. Huh. But I was nervous. <laughs> Remember that if you go when you go next year. Do not actually, we think the indeed we think it's actually September, not August. It's it's late or beginning of whatever, whatever. Uh, <laughs> yes, that was specific. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the other cool thing about Mr. Bumblefoot is that I, I did a little research, and he is I, the cul UN cultural attaché to uh, I think Albania for guitar. What? Wow. Yes, he's, <laughs> he's, he's awesome. He's a UN representative. It's wonderful. He's That's he's so, an so amazing, amazing guy. Wow. I, I, I get him on the show. And if yeah. you're watching yeah. the show, Bumble call in. Yeah. We'd love to talk to you again. Uh, <laughs> come visit us. But now we come to a scary part of the show. Because Ellen's Ellen's grandson, well you tell it. Oh, well, this is spelling bee season here in Berks County and all over the United States, getting ready for this Scripps Howard spelling bee in Washington, the National Bee. My grandson, who is 10 years old, was in his third county spelling bee in Virginia. And it was, of course, a big thing for our family. He did well, he did not win. Uh, and there was a little story behind that, but that's neither here nor there. But what I thought would be fun is if we have our own little spelling bee here. Oh, right. And <laughs> all of you it. would be <laughs> participants. So we're going to give each of you, uh, this is an old fashioned sort of entertainment. So you get a slate, <laughs> not a whiteboard. Please no screeching and, of the chalk and, on your slate. And we'll give you each a little pack of chalk. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. This is fun. And we'll give oh. you something to oh, erase with between words. You get a little foam car and you get a piece of quilt 
batting it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, in a real spelling bee, you have to spell the words orally. And it's Friday, and it's from a list. And I just it, want to mention that it's Wednesday now, but don't spelling tests always be given? Oh, right well, Fridays. Not when you're on a numbered day system, <laughs> which many schools are. We <laughs> Maybe day five. We right? have all these Whatever. teachers here. This is unfair. <laughs> right. yeah, no. All right, I'm competitive. So we Let's get our okay. name. All right. All right. So <laughs> in a real spelling bee, you <laughs> are given a word, and you can ask for a sentence. You can ask for a but definition. And then you spell it aloud. And you but you cannot change oh. letters. You may go back and start over, but you cannot change what you've said. However, we're not doing it that way because you're all competing at one time. And so I'll pronounce the word. If you want a sentence or a definition, let me know. But otherwise, spell the word. And then our judge is going to be Jamie. And he will say who has it. Or if oh, you all gonna, have it. We're going to write it. You're going to write it on there. Yes, yes. OK? okay. Yep. And all of these words came from uh, Berks County Spelling Bees, where school districts chose their champions. These were all winning right. words in the Berks County Spelling Bees. Ah. So the first Berks. word is fennel. Use that in a sentence, please. OK. Sausage contains this, uh. is made with fennel. Do you want okay. this in oh. cursive or printed? <laughs> what? <laughs> Not that. Show your so show, you show your board. Oh, we have to show them. Well, of yes, course, Jamie's the judge. Everybody, uh, Everybody show yeah. to Jamie. Oh, they're turning them in. <laughs> okay. I, I so. <laughs> she got okay. It. I got it. She spelled the same. Yeah. Okay. Everybody had that one. Okay. okay. The next one, and the next one is Bayou. Wow. Well, yeah. Did you want to get it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Obviously a good competition here. <laughs> We're all good the spies. third one is yieldable. Yieldable. Oy. Like the I've farmer owned in my 100 yieldable acres. I, I misspelled I, it. It's I. Uh, I before I E point. except after C. Yeah, I didn't misspell it. You misspelled it. <laughs> Wait. Uh, <laughs> I E. Five. I. <laughs> okay, what? so it's Ever. three, three, play. three, two. Okay, the next word is insidious. Oh. I just watched this movie. Terrible movie. Oh, I don't. <laughs> oh, I love that movie. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I think I did like that movie. Insidious. I love well, I'm not movie. asking you to spell the last word anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this snow is did insidious. Did I do that too? I screwed that yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have four, 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 two. I'm pretty. I don't have to spell. <laughs> That's right. And our fifth word <laughs> Excuse me. is. Elegiac. <gasps> spell you said in, in a word, sentence. Oh, in a sentence? And then okay. Start to spell it the verse on the tombstone oh. contained elegiac couplets. I don't know. I've never heard this word. <laughs> no. Uh, no. I'm not showing the camera. Martha wins. Martha has. Martha has. Martha oh, has it. Right, right, right. And so we have. Aww. We don't need a tiebreaker. <laughs> but I have one that I'm curious as to whether you would know how to spell it. And this is um, the young man who was part of the Canadian ice dancing silver medal team. His name is Scott Moyer. Oh, how do you spell his last name? Oh no. He's French and it should not be pronounced that way. It should not be. Yeah. Oh, oh, see. Yeah. That's sorry. That 
Both of you are, are correct, yes. It That's should be weird. wow. Yes, it should be. It should <laughs> but be I'm not quite sure how it got to That's in Berks odd. County he would That's not it. be Moyer with that last name. But no. anyway, good. In job. France, he would not be Wonderful. That Moyer with that name. <laughs> so, I cry wow. foul for that last like, name. <laughs> <laughs> well, that didn't count. The last one didn't count. Was meant as fun. Yes, it did. I got extra yes. points. Uh, <laughs> it's so certainly good. The comeback hit. <laughs> that was fun. I didn't oh, say I got it. It wasn't a comeback, oh, but I got extra say, points. Up again today. <laughs> and now you're all. <laughs> all right. <laughs> while we, while we pack up our, our writing implements, let's go watch the next video. <laughs> We're here with Anne DeGraw. No, DeLong. DeLong. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, De DeGraw is the, okay. DeGraw is an amalgamation uh, of DeLong and Grace. Oh, uh, okay. We're the two partners in the venture, my husband and our friend Chris. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And so all the, all the salsa you make is all handmade? And it is locally grown, fresh ingredients, and my husband and his friend um, make the salsa. Okay. And we've been doing this every year since the festival began, so this is our 17th year. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, and I know that because we just celebrated my son's 17th birthday, <laughs> and at the very first festival, I was sitting here very pregnant. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so it's a fond memory. He's saying you ate lots day. of hot sauce, and, and, and this is yeah. the proud <laughs> result. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, Jim and Chris could tell you more about the specific ingredients, but they do a mild and hot version. Oh, I'm definitely gonna try the um, hot. And it's yeah. delicious. So it's great. Uh, so we have free samples. Okay. Yeah. And do you have a website? Um, we do not. It's okay. Something they do once a year just for this. So this festival. is so you have we to come tend here. To sell out. Okay, um, this is good. It's a true special. I like this. We haven't sold out is when we've been um, interrupted by rain. Yeah. Um, and in that case, then we get lots of Christmas gifts. Ah. <laughs> so this is great. So if you, if you want this, you got to come here and get you it. You really do. That's you absolutely great. do. It's sort of a one time deal. And yes, they do it um, when nice the harvest is fresh this time of year. And it's, it's like I said, a locally grown, fresh ingredient. Okay. So do you want to introduce this to Jim and we can learn a little absolutely. bit about the Salsa? Yeah, Jim. Honey, I did. <laughs> so this is Jim. Jim. This is, hi. Hi. So you're the, the chef. One the chef. Of the How you doing for the chef? <laughs> so tell us. So, so she said that it was it was all locally sourced ingredients. And, Absolutely. And if you want to have this stuff, you got to come here and get it. That's uh, correct. That's good. Yeah. We tend to sell out. So, so tell us a little bit about uh, what you uh, what you do and how you make it. Well, we um, buy uh, tomatoes and onions from a local uh, farmer down the road. Keep it local. We uh, chop it all up. And, um, we uh, we water bath it. We sell it for the okay. uh, chili festival only. Make it what time of year? So not too much detail we're going to get out of it. No. no. <laughs> we have a bunch of, of uh, different herbs. We grow, we grow all the peppers ourselves. He's like the crow. The it's eleven secret herbs and yeah. spices. Hey, every chef has their secret. You know. We can tell and, you. Uh, you know, we can it and you know, hopefully, um, you know, spread the uh, goodness of what we make. And Sounds it's good. Whatever good. we don't sell, we keep and we eat ourselves to give away for uh, to friends for parties. I'm going to be brave. I'm going to be brave. So you doing the hot chain? Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh. It smells really hot. And they didn't call the right part to call the gym the water. That's my alcohol. That wasn't me. This there we go. This could end not well. <laughs> Like the hot stuff? See, so Jane went straight to the hot. Good stuff. We're getting a jar. Let's try the mild too. <laughs> which, which one do you have? You had mild? Mild's good? Yeah. So good, Kira just bought a jar of it. Okay. <laughs> I want to try the mile. It's really good. You need to, you need to cool down a little bit. We're here with, uh, with Kelly and... Not Bubba. From, Bubba. Uh, friend, friend of the owners, and this is the daughter-in-law. Yep. She's way more. <laughs> and Jane's eating the... Uh, I'm eating the chocolate, chocolate jalapeno, jalapeno ice cream. It's delicious. They also have a, uh, well, a vanilla hell. I'm going to you two guys. But uh, I wasn't brave enough for the vanilla hell. 
It is very, very spicy. But my Wait. question is, do you have this all year round at the Hook Bowers Negative. Hotel? We don't. We don't. Oh. They are doing it just um, for today, for the Chili Pepper Fest, and they'll do it until it sells out. But what they are doing is our chef makes everything from scratch. So he has blueberry ice cream, he has peach, and he does sorts of the cobbler. It's going to go on our website. It's excellent. It's right, get, you guys, really get, get together. Oh. This is going to go up this, <laughs> this girl, and, 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 and she loves me too, I'm sure. Love is great. Yeah, he does everything from scratch. We so. love There I am. <laughs> well, um, and that was our trip to the Bowers Chili Pepper Festival, and we all urge you to go when it comes around this uh, September. This September. <laughs> Remember that. Or August. Put it down or in your calendars. <laughs> and now, as we always do on every episode, <laughs> Spike, <laughs> we have Nicole with the surprise topic du jour. My first surprise topic. Yes. All right. All right so I didn't want to disappoint. So I hope <laughs> I don't. Um, my surprise Never. topic is. If you could write a message to your past self, what would you put in that message? Oh, I know the, my answer to that. Be, bra <laughs> then go be braver. Right be braver. It's a good one. I would tell myself to make you better choices. <laughs> Seriously, things turned out okay, but they could have been different. But I'm okay with where I am. I would say be more adventurous. Do the things that you dream of doing. Wow, I'm disappointed. I live for the moment, live in the moment, I think I would say, because I'm trying to do that now. Live in the moment, be, be present. Instead of looking ahead. Yeah, that was my resolution, by the way. We were younger. Wouldn't that be nice? Yes. No, we wouldn't have had so Wisdom. much fun That's had true. with age. That's, That's true. Yeah. 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 Some of the dumb things I did were fun. There has to be some advantage to getting older. <laughs> there does. Uh, it's remembering other, all the fun. Other than the, the aches and pains of age. <laughs> uh, that was, and, and what's yours? And yours. I probably have a couple. Um, one would be uh, travel more. Um, another would be uh, he wasn't worth it. Oh, <laughs> not my husband, but a couple back. <laughs> He's all right. He, yeah, my someone better is coming along. Um, and another one would have been um, be be braver. I think would be it. Try that thing that you're afraid to try. That's mm. wonderful. I think. Don't worry so much about what other people are thinking of you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 that really holds us all, uh, except for a blessed few who have no qualms about just going, forging ahead. Yeah. It, it holds so many of us back yeah. to oh, just... Absolutely. This absolutely. girl right here. Uh, <laughs> Fear of a, failure. a blessing and a curse. <laughs> Don't be afraid to fail. Indeed. I, we're Give so it a shot. scared yeah. of failure. It's silly. That's why we're going to do curling. Ellen Tough. and I will. That's, we're well, we're going to start uh, our own curling team. <laughs> there we go. We will, be in, we will be in the next Winter Olympics. <laughs> Where is that being held? Olympics Where will we be? Right here on BC TV. <laughs> <laughs> no more dance. They want the bid for the next one for Korea. Oh, one minute. It's Korea. Oh, okay. I think. Quickly, I think we have is. apparently one minute left. We Whoa. have to. Uh, I'm going Some to quickly plugs. again remind you uh, this Saturday. February 22nd uh, at, from 4 to 11 at River Edge, the BCTV Dance Party Telethon, and Good Time for Life. Uh, look it up on Good Time, T H Y M E, for life.org. Uh, that's March 4th. Uh, Martha, what do you have? This is the weekend of Penn State Thon. Nicole and I are proud Penn Staters. The Thon is the biggest um, student uh, philanthropy project in the world. They have raised more money than any other student philanthropy. It goes to the Penn State uh, Four Diamonds Fund and you can you can contribute if you haven't hit any of the cans that the Penn State Berks kids have had out for months. You can contribute by going to www.thon.org. I urge you to do it. It's a well-deserved philanthropy. Helps children who are in terminal situations. That's what and it is. Really that is Thon well Not Thong. Yes. <laughs> now, also remember, our next show will be the third Wednesday of the of March, which falls on Jamie's birthday. So Woo! we will have a birthday party, and we have lots of exciting things coming up for that. And so that would be the nineteenth of March. It would be the nineteenth of March. And Nicole's birthday is the day before. We need to say so long for this episode. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. It's been great. Bye bye. <laughs>